All right, guys. Hi, everybody that's joining here in Periscope. We're going to get started here in a second. Everybody here that's joining here live on Periscope and people that are joining here on Replay on Periscope and Replay on Facebook. Hi, I'm Dr. Will Cole. So we're here live at our Functional Medicine Center here in Pittsburgh where we give webcam and phone consults for people around the world and we offer a free health evaluation at our website at drwillcole.com. So we're, again, live here on Periscope and we're on Replay here on Facebook and on Periscope, of course, for 24 hours. So, um, we're going to go over the seven reasons why it's difficult for people to lose weight. Um, and it's obviously appropriate any time, of the, any time of the year, but especially this time of year, right after the holidays here, uh, it's especially appropriate. Awesome, Angela. I can't wait to speak to you. All right, guys. So, we're going to get started here. Let me walk to my office where we can talk about this stuff. So we're going to go over here. So yeah, a, a Periscope people, if you want to click the hearts down there to let me know you're seeing me all right and you're hearing me all right, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. And for, for people on Facebook, you're not going to see the comments and the interaction that I have with people on Periscope and you're not going to see all the cool colorful hearts that are coming around here. Um, thanks guys. So weight loss is a difficult thing for many people. Weight loss resistance is something that many people have. They have spent years of their lives dieting and losing weight and then getting it back and trying on these fad diet ways to lose weight. So starving themselves, living in the gym, counting points, counting calories, Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, Nutrisystems, every diet book out there, every exercise out there in this sort of search to uh, lose weight sustainably. Research shows that counting calories and portion control fails us the majority of the time when it comes to sustainable weight loss. It's good for short term, um, but long term it kind of uh, fails us for sustainable weight loss. So something that we teach a lot in functional medicine here is that we have to get healthy to lose weight, not lose weight to get healthy. Again, getting healthy to lose weight, not losing weight to get healthy, meaning get healthy and your weight loss will be a natural byproduct of getting healthy. Getting healthy and you'll look great on accident, but it's not going to be from another diet. So we're not going to be a diet uh, approach to getting uh, to losing weight, but we're going to focus on what's the root issue of why it's difficult for you to lose weight, deal with those underlying issues, and then you can lose weight naturally, effectively, and sustainably. So let's go over the top reasons that I see clinically for people around the world. Again, we do webcam and phone consults, so we're talking to people and looking at people's labs and running people's labs in other states and other countries, and we're drop shipping the labs and then customizing a program based on their individual lab results. So we're tailoring it down to them because one size doesn't fit all. Uh, what works for one person isn't gonna work for you. And if there was one way, then believe me, someone would have wrote a book about it or made a product about it it and it would have worked for everybody and that person would have been a trillionaire. But the reality is the reason why there's so many different products out there and they're all saying something different uh, and there's so many different things online as to what works is because there is not one solution for everybody. So it's functional medicine's approach to integrate all that information and then tailor it to you and, function, and, and customize a functional medicine program for the individual. So let's go over the top reasons that I find clinically why people are diff having difficulty losing weight. Number one is adrenal dysfunction. You have what's called the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. Adrenal fatigue is very common. Cortisol rhythm dysfunction, so high cortisol when it should be low or low cortisol when it should be high. Thanks for the hearts, guys. I appreciate it. And that's really difficult to lose weight if you have adrenal dysfunctions. You're going to be fatigued. You're going to be moody. You're going to be irritable. You're going to be craving salty foods and craving sugary foods. You're going to be having sleep problems and potential weight problems. So you need proper cortisol rhythm, higher in the morning, lower in the evening, a proper cortisol circadian rhythm and adrenal dysfunction is often something that we some some things that we see clinically. Other things called uh, leptin resistance. Leptin is a hormone that your fat cells produce. High levels of it can cause insulin, actual leptin resistance, a blunting of the leptin receptor sites in the hypothalamic cells of the brain. So your brain's not getting the message. The brain thinks you're starving. You could look at food and gain weight with leptin resistance. You could eat like a rabbit and live on salads and still not lose weight with leptin resistance. So you have to overcome that resistance pattern to overcome your weight problems. And then there's insulin resistance, which most people know. Insulin 
resistance is, uh, as leptin resistance happens mainly in the brain, insulin resistance happens mainly in the liver. So this is what becomes metabolic syndrome or syndrome X or type 2 diabetes. It's the same mechanism though with leptin resistance. The hormone's being produced, but the cells are not reading it. So your body is resistant to that hormone and it will become type 2 diabetes, which is the leading cause of heart attack and stroke in the Western world. It is bankrupting all uh, modern health systems because uh, it is estimated that 50% of the United States is either pre-diabetic or diabetic. So this is very common. And what is insulin? Insulin is a fat storing hormone. So it's very difficult to lose weight and it obviously has many, many side effects too with uh, complications of diabetes, heart attack, stroke, kidney disease, amputations, retinopathy, eye problems as far as, and amputations too. And then thyroid problems. Thanks for the hearts, guys. There are so many thyroid problems that won't show up on standard labs. So you can have a normal lab, right? But you you can have a normal TSH, you can have normal, normal thyroid labs, but still have low thyroid symptoms. You have to have a full expanded thyroid panel, and that's something that we talk about on our website at drworldcold.com, and also I've done different scopes on it too. So if you go on our Facebook page, um, we have all the video past main, all the major scopes on there. So you can see, okay, what thyroid labs you want to have run. And we were actually, we were, I wrote an ebook about it too. So if you go and subscribe at drrollcole.com, it's the Heal Your Hormones book. Um, you can uh, know which labs to have run. And it's something we talk to people all around the world via our free, uh, via, via our free functional medicine evaluation. My name is Dr. Will Cole. Uh, someone just asked that on Periscope. Um, and then we have to talk about estrogen and progesterone imbalances. Men and women both need proper estrogen and progesterone imbalances. So if you have weight issues, if you have a difficulty losing weight, you're going to want to look at your estrogen isomers, E1, E2, and E3, and its relationship to progesterone. E1 and E2 are the typical, the, the predominant form of estrogen, and E3 is the actual protective form of it. You want to look uh, there from a weight standpoint, a mood standpoint, an energy standpoint, and also optimal health because high levels of estrogen are linked to different types of cancer. You want to know you want to know that. Gut problems. Your gut is the foundation of your health. Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, said all disease begins in the gut. He was pretty close. Around 90% of all chronic disease at least begins to some degree in the gut. And certain uh, strains of colony forming units of bacteria in the microbiome are linked to weight loss resistance and basically really difficult losing weight. If you've struggled with weight gain your whole life, if you've always struggled with that, looking in the microbiome is imperative to rule that out or rule it in um, as it is in many cases. So low levels of certain bacteria, higher levels of other bacteria can make it really difficult to lose weight as well as leaky gut syndrome which can also, also put you at a disadvantage at losing weight as well. And then number seven is going to be toxins. Since, our, since World War II, our world has been inundated with toxins and we're all exposed to toxins, but each person's genetic makeup can tolerate a different level of those toxins. So the question isn't so much, are we exposed to toxins? We all are. But what is your individual genetic tolerance to those toxins? Some people have very little tolerance to toxins. You know, for example, some people can smoke three packs a day and live an old age till they're 90 and some person can god forbid get sec cancer from secondhand smoke at age 40 and die it doesn't make smoking healthy but it's what's the individual tolerance to those toxins and some people are exposed to toxins in the environment in their water and the products they're using in their home and these are hormone mimickers these are things that um, can affect your hormones in major ways and make it very difficult for you to lose weight so common things in plastics and metals and uh, pesticides and uh, things that added in water and things added in different products you're using on your skin shampoo lotions creams toothpaste things like that you want to be mindful about what you're exposed to not just from a you know a uh, like an industrial toxin, but household common things that are in your daily life. So these are things that we talk about on our website. I just wanted to give you guys the seven reasons that I find a lot of people can't lose weight, and those are the seven. So for more information about this, you can go on our website at drworldcold.com. If you want to talk about your specific case, you can go to the consultation page and fill out a free health evaluation form, or via over a phone or webcam, we can talk about your health, uh, specific health case, and see if functional medicine is right for you or not. I really appreciate all the hearts guys here, and all the support and love, and we have a lot of fun things, exciting things, ready for you guys in 2016. We're working hard at it. Stay tuned. We'll talk to you next time. Bye, guys.